To complete our review on using generics in the context of singly linked lists, I would like to give you two more examples quickly. Okay, One is about how you create lists, uh, how you construct them, and the other one is about how you implement the list methods, which might be useful for your maybe programming assignments later. Okay, Let's take a look. Okay, and I don't need to really go into the detail about the algorithmic uh, tracing for the list construction. We have done that in detail earlier already. I just want you to know you, you really want to study the detail as well yourself. This is the version of the list construction for generic list. And this is the version of the list construction for non-generic list. Right? Let me highlight uh, the non-generic uh, non version first. You can see over here, whenever we create a new node, that's how we declare that. And also, this is no construction. And we allow string value only over here. right? And also, similarly, when you declare the singly linked list, you also don't need to give any uh, instantiation for the type parameter. It's non-generic. And also, when you instantiate it, you also just mention the class name. Okay, and uh, I think uh, that's about it. And also, whenever you say, for example, set hat, you will be expecting that this Allen over here is simply just a note over here, which will presumably will store string values only. You don't need to. You don't really have the flexibility of create of instantiating uh, from string into maybe integer. You don't really have that flexibility. Okay, and similarly for the singly linked list, uh, for the approach number two, right? I'm gonna leave that to you. So what's really uh, something I would like to highlight once more is about using generic list. Let's see the corresponding line. In this line here, we gotta declare that uh, the node to be storing string over here, and this will be how we can instantiate it. And there are two ways for you to instantiate a node. Either you can do this or that, right? So let me uh, just write it down, write it down uh, explicitly for you. Whenever you want to declare the type, you have no way to simplify it. You just have to spell it out. You're going to say, for example, the note storing string. So we are instantiating the uh, parameter E by string. And for example, we say Allen over here. So now you got two choices. Either you can simply say, I want to say new, and I just want to explicitly say, I want to be consistent. It's going to be a new note also instantiating to be the same type. That makes sense. You cannot say integer over here, by the way. It's going to be compilation error. And of course, I can say string. And then, of course, I can pass whatever argument is necessary over here, right? Java allows you to also do some shortcut over here. So uh, this part over here can be simplified as, you can just simply say new and also note and just angle bracket, just empty pair of angle brackets over here and then the arguments. This will also be acceptable because the compiler will uh, will kind of assume whatever you put, whatever that's missing over here must be compatible with whatever you declare over here. So that's something I'd like to point out. Okay. And uh, that's really the, the only syntactic uh, shortcut I would like to uh, highlight for you. Everything else about how to use the, uh, for example, set head over here, you can see set head over here. So what do we really expect over here? Let's just say once more. For the set head over here, since we talk about the list over here, which is declared to be uh, over here, sorry, which was declared to be this particular singly linked list, which will be a string type. And as we uh, explained earlier, since this is a string, so that means accordingly, the note you want to set also has to be instantiating to be a string, which is the case. So that why, that's why it should be checked, right? You should definitely review review this exercise that we did earlier, this example over here, right? All right, so that's what I want to say about the list construction. You want to make sure you know about these two alternative of uh, instantiating some generic uh, classes. All right, let's now take a look at final example here, which is about in the context of uh, in the context of some generic class, how can you define its method? Okay. So remember these two methods at first and also get note at. You can definitely look at the source code as well. So these two methods are created under the context of uh, class. And also we got singly linked list and then declare with a generic parameter over here, right? You can think about this is the context over here. So whenever I say E over here, I'm really referring to the E. So when I say at first, I say that the element to be added should be of the type that's going to be instantiated consistently when somebody wants to use this class. For example, 
if I say here, if I try to do singly link list, if I say string, this version number one is going to replace every occurrence of E over here in the same class by just string. On the other hand, let me use another example here. If I do, let's say blue, singly link list, maybe a person class, for example, right? Let's say assume person is actually a class you create as elsewhere. In that case, it's going to replace every occurrence of E just by P over here. P and P and P over here, rather than just string. And so now we got these two possible types. Of course, you're gonna uh, declare this type for some variable, declare this for some variable, and then the same manipulation will apply, uh, consistent with how we walk through this particular example, right? So that's something you can also review. And let's take a uh, quick look over here. So when I do the definition for the at first method, I'm saying that the type for parameter E is simply just going to be E. Right? And E is going to be instantiated when somebody is trying to use the class later. Right, It's in another context about usage. And inside the generic uh, method over here, so you can see if I want to declare some local variable, and then you can see hat is going to be uh, is going to correspond to the hat attributes that's declared in singly linked list. What is that? Let's take a quick look. If you look at that, in the singly linked list class over here, you can see the hat is also generic e over here right that's why we can simply just do that so that's why head will just be a new node of type e you can also leave out the e over here as i said before you have this uh shorthand and let the compiler decide what the compatible type should be right that's also possible right and similarly for the get node and method here so here we talk about return type if you want to return node and then here is better be e E is going, going to correspond to whatever this E will be instantiated uh, into, either by string or person or some other type later. Right? And of course, for the non -generic, uh, generic version, you don't have that flexibility. It always has to be a string. Okay, so that's about what I want to say uh, for the review for the Java generics, especially how we use them, apply them in the context of singly linked node and also singly linked list. And as I said before, you definitely have to make sure you actually study the background over here or review the background since that's something you're supposed to have studied in uh, the earlier OOP course. And then uh, look at the slides over here. I definitely included all the source code over here, not just in the slides, but also you can also look at the source code in Eclipse. Okay, you can look at them and try to, uh, try to even uh, program them from scratch yourself as a practice. You'll definitely be assessed such knowledge and skills later in the test. And finally, make sure you go over this example again yourself to make sure you understand why certain lines should compile and certain lines shouldn't compile. All right, I think I'm running out of time for this week. I think I will stop here and that'll be a complete, uh, that'll be, we have so far completed the, the discussion for singly linked list, both the algorithmic part and also the generic part. We're done. And the only thing left for the idea uh, left for the discussion of linked list will be the doubly linked list. We'll do that in week number five. That's what we'll do. All right. And stay tuned, and I'll see you in week number five.